What's up, everyone? Welcome Jesus to the show. Christ. Welcome to Christmas Only Comes Once a Year. <laughs> Alright, I guess this is what. Yeah, welcome, everybody. I guess this is the intro. Ah. <laughs> but before we start the intro, Res. I just started the intro. I guess not. Before we start the show, I mean. We got some announcements. Oh? We got some match announcements for the oh. big event. Oh? Specifically, uh, a few of them. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, never Excuse again. Me. Excuse me. <laughs> well, Rez, of course I'll tell you what the matches are. I didn't ask. We got announced after the horrible actions last week. First time ever, Homer Simpson versus Alex Colon in a death match. What happened last week? Alex Colon beat up Homer Simpson. Okay. So, so Alex Colon challenged Homer Simpson to his type of match. Um, Clifford and Sin Cara has taken to their social media pages and onto their tumblers because they don't want to pay for Twitter and um <laughs> and said that they are activating the rematch clause at the next big event which is called questions and we'll have many questions um the women's title will be decided in a triple threat match between Garnet, Lady Gaga and Saki Sama who won last week's match but by count out so didn't win the title in our annual JRH gets one match per tour uh, for his title, we're both Carl Gotch versus Conquistador Uno. We got a fatal four way match for the big boy title res. We got Brock Lesnar versus Godzilla versus Madman Pondo versus Dr. Phil for the big boy title. And in our main event, Kool-Aid Man says that he doesn't want to wrestle until the big event. Because he is pissed. Except for when he has to defend his small boy championship, of course. Which he will defend uh, coming soon. Because he lost. He lost his uh, world title. Oh, yeah. So, so he said... I don't want to wrestle until uh, until then, you know? And they were like, okay, sure. Except for when he defends his, uh, his small boy championship, of course. Which he will defend against Jim Kermit. And then, uh, yeah. But now we can kick off the show, Rez. And do you know what we're kicking off with? Because I forget. <laughs> no, you don't tell me the match call. You're telling me the matches are on. I told you last week. Or last no, or last show, did. yeah. I went. I did a rundown, but I of that course I remember. Count. It's June Kasai. Do we want? <laughs> it's June Kasai. For once, we're not starting with the Discovery Gauntlet. We are doing June Kasai versus Danny Havoc. Oh shit! What a dream match, which probably has happened. It has. <laughs> there we go. Danny Havoc. The one of three Danny Havocs, because we can't use these ones for some... Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Fault. <laughs> of course, uh, this is in the... Uh, I don't know what that means. <laughs> but... Uh, Cock and rod balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here comes June Kasai. Crazy monkey himself. You think that June Kasai is in with the web because they are both fighting outside the ring? <laughs> <laughs> I, um. These entrances are modded. So I don't think, um. I don't think it's been fully, like, uh, tested out, you know? Okay. Yeah. Or it might be fully tested out. That just might be the best they could do, because there's not supposed to be entrances in this arena. 
You're not and supposed to be in this arena. Shut up. Because if I were outside the arena. <laughs> of course, we are coming live from Antonio Inoki's basement. Our world champion gave us a... Uh, let us use his basement tonight. It's because he wants um, to. He didn't want to leave while he defended the title. <laughs> no, let me tell you, I'm very, very happy that our world our world title holder has been gracious enough to open up his basement because my he mother was very upset. <laughs> now, V, how yes. how fucked up would it be if Antonio Inoki lost his title tonight in his own basement? I mean, stranger things have happened. I mean, okay. we do have a bear referee. So yeah, but he's very fair. He is a fair bear. Um, now, of course, uh, V, for, just in case you didn't know, uh, Undertaker challenged uh, Antonio Inoki to a uh, a title match tonight. Oh, fair bear's down! And uh, Antonio Inoki said he'll only put the title on the line against a loser like The Undertaker if Undertaker puts his hair and bike on the line. Oh, <laughs> his hair and balls. <laughs> no. That's next. <laughs> Fair hey, bear bleeding. All right, no, wait. Let's drink his eye. <laughs> yes. Oh, Pearl Harbor. One, two... 2.9. Yeah. Bear, of course, will be have fair bear will have to be taken to the hospital after this. <laughs> oh, go and get back to the head no. Dick kick. You know all about that. <laughs> yep. Danny Havoc punch in the back of June Kasai's head. Off the ropes. DDT. Of course, this is Jun Kasai's debut on season four of QQD Pro. Uh, this is also kind of sort of Danny Havocs, but Danny Havocs interfered in like three different matches. <laughs> oh, Danny Havoc going for the cover, but foot under the rope. Oh, big scoop stand today outside. No, what do you think about that? <laughs> um, no very effective. You. Now, V, which one of these two do you think celebrates Christmas better? <laughs> Thank you, V. <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh! Rez, why do we keep letting people in the audience bring guns? What's the point? Oh, just in case someone tries to, like, hop the barricade, I guess? Yeah. And another... Oh, no, that wasn't a Pearl Harbor. That was just a dive. <laughs> oh, punch of the dick. Oh, up the ropes. Oh, Ooh, don't tiltable. Punch. Punch, punch. And head a punch. big headbutt. Oh, and a PK? Oh, no, just a oh, drop just, kick. Just a... Drop kick. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. What do you call Danny. that? No. Uh, well, he calls that the fucking finish, and he's going over. Danny Havoc picks up a win in his first match here in QQD's Pro. Season four. I'm sure we booked him another season. Now, Rez. Up next, we got the match that you're probably least looking forward to. <laughs> but of course, it's going to be a gimmick match. It's going to be a cage. Oh. We got one Warrior Nation defending his uh, multiversal championship. Good Where story. is... I don't know uh, letters, Rez. I may know. Where's one? There. Well, it's the youngest number that there's ever been. 
One more in your nation. We'll Dude, defend yeah, against one. Minoru no, Fujita in his Number rematch. One, one. No, this is a. Uh, this is the cage. I know it says normal match. Don't let that fool you. Well, now I have a 12 by 4. Where is Minoru Fujita? As people are arguing behind me. <laughs> <laughs> the fans causing a ruckus. Unless I'm pretty sure I selected like Cage. Yes. Stand by one William Nation, and he's blown up. I <laughs> see. <laughs> of course, uh. One more year nation, uh, being the current champ defeated Minoru Fujita for the title. And yeah. here in QQD Pro, we believe in rematch clauses because it makes my it makes Caleb's booking lazier and <laughs> that's easier for him. Yeah. I'm back. <laughs> Welcome yeah. back, V. Welcome back, and can you please tell me who won? Between Danny Havoc and Jim Kazai. Danny Havoc. Thing? One with the sternness driver. Stern oh, is yeah. dust. Or dust. Now, oh, running knee but have, block. Who do we have wrestling one warrior nation? This is Minoru Fujita, the former multiversal champion, looking to get a uh activating his rematch clause. Okay. I this... respect though. Here at QQD Pro we honor the rematch clause. Yeah, of course. Big suplex from Fujita. Unless <laughs> Unless you do something horrible in between the time that you lost the title and the rematch. <laughs> what would you think of a better match? I mean, they could just get their title rematch on Dark eventually. <laughs> Wait, I have a question. What's up? 2.9. So, after there's finally a V. Daniel call made and me wrestles, <laughs> do, you, do you think we could use him to wrestle all my dream matches that I'll never get in real life? Like Spike yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> Fuck you. No. Yeah, we're gonna cook feet. Yeah, we're gonna book feet. Daniels close this big show. <laughs> of course, V Daniels gonna wrestle one more your nation. <laughs> no. One that could just happen. happen. One more your nation might not wrestle anyone after that vicious brain bust. Yeah. Well, one more your nation is not like most men. Oh, that is true. Are. Nia Jack. Yeah. One more your nation. Working the leg. <gasps> oh, oh, big splash! Yeah, just could be one, it. two, two point nine. Oh. Big oh, suplex. Judo, that judo background of one warrior nation. <laughs> oh, brain buster! Brain, big brain buster. <laughs> Two. Oh, Minoru Fujita wins the belt back. Which means in QQD Pro tradition, they'll have another match eventually. <laughs> I would give that a 66%. <laughs> then it wasn't really that good if that's all you're giving it. <laughs> exactly. You guys want to hear something while we have a second between matches? What's up? I spent $80 of my own money on a video game last night. Was it Sonic? No. It was what? the Lego Star Wars. <laughs> Not even the DLC. Call of Duty game that you wanted? <laughs> no. But Isn't my it, birthday's it was... coming up. Those fucking Lego games. Are they? Oh, okay. The Lego games got so much harder, right? Yeah. Dude, they did get so much harder. And I noticed that before I got this Lego Star Wars. Uh, where is but... Victor? Where is Victor? There we go. Victor Cro Crowley. Yo, Victor Crowley, a bitch for real. Is uh, going to defend the title against someone, but first, here's some words by four by from four by four. Okay. 
here comes our champion coming soon. Oh wait, no, this is no, this is not supposed to be a cage. I guess we're doing another cage match. Oh no, a panda has entered the ring. <laughs> Victor Groly is challenged. Uh, on this note, this says El Hio del Panda. Oh, son of panda. <laughs> son of panda, taking the cage for <laughs> here's it just, I think it just speaks this out of panda, but that was El Hio del Bamboo, right? I believe this might have been El Hio del, del Bamboo. Now, Milk, this may be Victor Crowley's first time in a cage, but this is certainly not El Hio del Panda's first time in a cage. <laughs> of course, That's V. Like, well, <laughs> yeah, Panda shouldn't be, shouldn't be in cages. It's fucked. Now, yeah, V. Victor Crowley defeated Darth Maul to win this match. What do you think about match? that? Or not to win this? V, I am tired. <laughs> Take over. Let me tell you, he defeated Darth Maul, and you know Darth Maul. He's a Sith Lord. There is no stressing that. Was he a Sith Lord? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Listen, I took a nap. I'm late. <laughs> so, Mel. Yeah. Yes, he was. What's up? When do you want to watch the movie for Sith Valley's fun? <laughs> we'll see if he wins this match. What's it? The wrong turn? No, uh, shit. What Big Lariat. Hatch it. Hatch. It's on Tubi. Ooh. You know, I haven't even downloaded Tubi yet. Is it good? Oh, yeah. I, I mean, it's all free, so. Yeah, it's all free. Free just with ads. El Hio del Bamboo. Oh, upside down the trio. Well, punching the took... panda dick. Yeah, I was gonna say he took a. No, there's what? Why, why is Bear being lazy and not <laughs> taking care of the cage? <laughs> why is there still a cage in the ring? Because <laughs> I told you the panda stormed the ring before Bear had any chance to clean it up. Oh, so you think this wasn't even Loki's opponent? Victor Crowley's just beating up a panda? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Well, that's fucked up. <laughs> How did a panda climb the cage? With his hands. <laughs> How the fuck else? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I mean, fair. This pan is getting his ass kicked. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Victor Crowley. Going for a superplex? Ooh. Kind of blown up, though. Not as much as El Hio del Bambu, though. Well, yeah. Victor Crowley's blown up from a... It's just blown up. The pan is in so much pain. <laughs> Big Lariat. Oh, off the ropes. This could be it. Ooh! This could be what the panda, what the panda needed. Big and a centon. And a suplex. Big, big comeback from this fucking panda. Oh, and oh. a suplex. Suplex, yeah. Come to the back. Stomp. Big super, super kick. kick. And, ooh, spinning wheel kick. Oh, but a scythe to the eye of the panda. That's just fucked up. <laughs> Big super kick. Big super sex. I mean... Oh. Oh, super sex. This could be it, Milk. Who? Why did Caleb sanction Headbutt. this? Why did Caleb throw around? Why, why, why did, why didn't Fair Bear do anything oh. about this? Big oh, leg drop. Yeah. Uh, cause Caleb's a bitch. That is true. Oh, just one strike does all I need to take the panda down. Oh, Ooh. sidewalk scam. Back suit check. 
And big super oh, kick. Oh, but a super kick from the panda. A scoop and a stand from Crypto Crowley. Oh, knife to the head. Fork. Or not knife, fork. Going up Using to a four. That five counts. Oh, but that went to the back. Off the rope, into the corner. But. Oh, big dick dropped it back to the neck, so this could be it. I don't think so. He's kind of fucking tired. Oh, Ooh. oh, Ooh, cutter. TKO. TKO. Sh Shades of Alex Riley. <laughs> Shades of Alex Riley. Oh, <laughs> great upset. Cutter. He keeps okay. picking up the panda, and the panda gets the advantage, but a straight jab to the fucking head does no good for anyone. Spinning oh, wheel kick. Right to the dome. Does this panda? Oh, oh Salida yeah, found yeah. soul. Or I guess, yeah, that's a slice bread, actually. More of... Does this panda know how to win a wrestling match? Well, it certainly seem to know how to wrestle. Oh, bill hug! The bill oh. hug! The panda hug. Oh, but a fucking... Imagine being able to knock down a panda with one punch. I feel bad. Yeah. But Victor Fari is a cold heart is killing machine. Oh, this could be it, no. He's signaling for the end. Oh! This could be it! Oh! Victor Crowley is out! The panda using the yes bit of power can't to break Crowley's back in half. But it's Badass. I'm. I think that's the only way. I think that's the only way the panda could have won. El Hio del Bamboo, also known as just Hio del Bamboo. Oh, this is Hio del Bamboo. Shit. Yeah. Okay. All right. That fucking ruled. Now we're gonna get out of. We got a tag team action, but, uh, V, I'm going to need you to take over commentary real quick. All right, I'm right here. All right, I need you to take the lead. Here, Here's my headset. <laughs> you can wear uh, over yours. Wait. Let me pop it on. I got to adjust it. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I will see you all, all you guys later. You guys uh, carry this for me. All right, well, coming up <laughs> first in this tag team match, we got Milk, who we know is uh, a bitch. He's quite the bitch, but he's also not your standard grappler when it comes to wrestling. Yeah, because he sucks. <laughs> he does quite suck. And in Milk's Corner, we have a Milk doppelganger, the different <laughs> boy, Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy fucking Lloyd. Now, Rez, what can you tell me about Jimmy Lloyd real quick? Uh, Jimmy Lloyd. Famous wrestler at the CCW Dojo. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. And Milk, as we know, choked off underneath the CZW Dojo. Yeah, Milk uh, hasn't done but, much in the wrestling world yet. No. I think he lost. <laughs> oh, and their tag team opponents are certainly a formidable duo. I think and so. I would not want to step in the ring with them in any capacity. That is the team of Kip Sabian and Miro. So ladies and gentlemen, if you're a fan of shitty AEW storylines, look no further. Game over. <laughs> and here they come. Walking right past their opposition. What is the code of conduct you don't touch before the match? And here comes Milk. No, Milk not really doing much. Yeah, no. Kip Sabian getting some quick strikes in, getting him back into his corner. Maybe think about a quick tag to Miro, but no. Oh, oh big arm drag though. Milk with the takedown. Oh, oh and the short arm drag. Short the clothesline. Kip Sabian reversing out of that. Oh, Milk with a quick over. I was just hoping that would be a change. Ow. Oh, and here comes Jimmy Lloyd. Here comes Milk. I'm sorry, that is Jimmy Lloyd. 
<laughs> you avoid taking out Stadium with the big punch, but then being struck down with the big sidewalk slam. Yeah, Yasuo's a doctor sneeze. What's he bear? Mila, no, this is a dream match no one wants. <laughs> yeah, uh, I cannot name one person who would want this match, but... Dude, here we are. Well, the other thing, Snoke didn't want this match either because he's getting his ass kicked. <laughs> yeah, Snoke does not look like he wants to be here right now. Oh, soup sex! Tag the tips, Adrian. Tag the Jimmy, don't wait. Everyone's in there right now. Game over! And into a soup set. Tag, tag team offense, you will not find it here. Definitely hollows. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> oh, whoops, headbutt. Here comes Milo. Two big kicks taking them both down. Jimmy White striking him. Oh, but a big gut punch. Oh, it's gut punch. Whoops. I think it need. Oh, Bulgarian boot. Oh, he's oh. in the camel clutch. That's so sick. They had this whole thing in Firefly. Yeah. They have the backwards kick right into the accolade. That's sick. Oh, Jimmy Hoy. Tag it into Mel. Milo just wants to kill Jimmy Hoy. Suplex the milk. Oh, headbutts. Milk should maybe invest in some better gear. Yeah. And he has big clown cheeks. <laughs> oh, knee to the gut. Milk boots about 12 sizes is too big. His shoes too big for his goddamn feet. Oh, Deathly Hollows. Another Deathly Hollows, but it was into the ropes. Oh, super kick, this could be what Milk needed. Two kills to the corner. Sidewalk Sam. Milk on the outside. Headbutts to Milo. And it is packed here in Antonio Inoki's basement. Oh well, yeah, he wanted to see where Inoki hung out. Oh, forearm to the neck. Boop. Soup sex. Jim goes back up. <sighs> All right, to all right. Going? I'm on the apron. I can do commentary. No, <sighs> you can't. Oh, accolade. I'm gonna. I milk, lost. Milk back in the wing. Oh. <laughs> milk. A big old milk, loser. Get in there. Break it up. No, he tapped out right away. What a fucking pussy. Milk, not knowing how to get into the wing correctly, trip and ate shit. <laughs> no, I as didn't. Jimmy Joy tapped out. <laughs> that match was all saving a <laughs> Milk and Jimmy Hill just got the asses beat and Well, kicked. fucking, it was supposed to be Ric Flair and Jimmy Lloyd, but then Ric Flair got injured at the pay-per-view, so I had to take Ric Milk Flair's spot. Milk making, making up excuses, even though this match was booked a week in advance. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I didn't have enough time to prepare. <laughs> Milk, a uh, little whiny bitch. I'm Good still match, sore from my, I'm still sore from my death match last week. You had a death match last week? Yeah, the, the eight man tag on dark. Oh, yeah. All right, well, up next, Rez, we got a, uh, speaking of tag match, we got a six man tag. <gasps> Odorous, you, you Hold on, what's this other costume? Okay. <laughs> yeah. We 
got Odorous Urungus teaming with um, the undefeated Balsack. The Jaws of Death. And the debuting uh, <laughs> Platius. I don't know the alphabet. Way. What is the alphabet? A, B, C, D. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Platius Maximus going against. Uh, Ace Freely. He decided to dress up this week. Gene Simmons, our tag team champions. And the debuting. Uh, one second. Res, what's the alphabet? There we go. Paul Stanley. I want to make sure everything. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The match everyone wanted. Part of Gwar versus <laughs> Part of Kiss. Here comes Gwar. Mel, either do you know, this is not Gwar's first time in a wrestling ring. <laughs> well, I mean, two of them already competed in Q Cuties, bro. I mean, Q Cuties, bro. Mmm. Does... Does... Oh, this showed up at IWA East Coast. <laughs> like everyone fucking else. I was gonna say, that was Pat McAfee's first match. No, that was Gwar's take. No, not against Oda. I just mean his first match was for IWA East Coast. Yeah. Oh, Powerbomb. Boss. Just tossing him down like a jack <laughs> ship. Big kick. Oh, fuck. Now, Rez. Yes. If War picks up the win in a six-man tag team, oh, single leg Boston rapper Caleb in a six-man tag team match against Kiss, do you think that will put them in line for a future tag title match? Oh, for the future QQ first six people? Well, no, I meant just like the tag because obviously Kiss are the tag team champions. That's Ooh. two chaos, bitch. <laughs> We do not I have trios ever. yet. We might have trios titles one day. Who knows? <laughs> you can just say it is now. Who's gonna stop us? No one. No, but this is not for the trios title, of course. So we don't have one yet. We didn't get it made yet. Our belt maker bear didn't have time to do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. We originally tried to give that job to Allie and Allie said no. Because <laughs> she couldn't heal you. Yeah. Oh shit. That is uh, Ace Freely. Ace Freely. And here comes Paul Stanley. A oh, big soup sex. Ooh, big German. Yeah, it's German. No one and that's some ball sack. That was a big boy to be doing that to. Oh, elbow drop. Onto that piece of the table. Which obviously Headbutt. makes it hurt more. <laughs> what the, I don't know what the fuck just went on there. The magic. That's why, you know, we tried booking a jizz back. Did not work out. <laughs> Oh shit, one. Well, I mean, by we, we mean Caleb. 
We we heavily encouraged Caleb to, and Caleb uh, could not I mean, get in contact. He has to that is true. Mm. Yeah, I don't know why fucking like, I don't know how we ended up giving Caleb all the booking power. You did. Double oh. drop. Elbow drop missed. Ah, oh, kiss his ass. Oh, oh, one, sit on two. Him. Oh, only a two though. Oh, beating down ball sack. <laughs> Just beating that ball sack. Ooh. One, two, two point nine. Oh, Obviously, uh, I mean, like. Obviously, fucking Clifford and uh, Sin Cara are probably enjoying every second that Kiss gets beat up. Yeah. But, like, if I'm Clifford and Sin Cara, I'm also watching Guar because they're doing fucking great in this match. Just... Gene Just Simmons of the cover. I mean, like... It's no um, easy mark to fucking get this much offense in on our ta world tag team champions and Paul Stanley. Yeah. And Paul Stanley. <laughs> and if we're being honest, Paul Stanley's taken the least amount of damage in this team. Yeah. Oh, Dragon Screw, though. Ooh. Big punch, punch of the dick. Two decks. Of course. Ooh. Big spin. <laughs> of course, don't forget that uh, Kiss will uh, do have a title defense coming up uh, next Monday. Going against <laughs> Bill Gates and Melissa McCarthy. <laughs> Forgot about. Why? <laughs> but I did write it down. <laughs> Well, obviously, well, I mean, Commissioner Caleb, of course. <laughs> oh, big knee, big knee. Of course, uh, that is on uh, QQD's Pro Dark next Monday. Yet we also have a show tomorrow, which features a uh, world title tournament. Little spoil spoilers. Fighting. Which, uh, as as the night goes on, we will announce uh, competitors for. <clears throat> Which I was supposed to do, and I completely forgot. <laughs> oh, pile drive. <laughs> One, two. Ooh. Chokes him. Double stomp. Ooh, double to the stomp. Ass. To the ass. I think he should have went for the pin deal, Milk. I think so too. Ooh. Superplex to the outside. Or not. Well, I oh. guess. Two, <laughs> probably feels as bad as a superplex. Oh, flush and make sweep. Dragon to the corner. Someone's bleeding. Oh, he drops to the back of the head. Oh, chokeslam! One, two! Ooh. Ooh, Dominator. Tag into Odoist. Oh, Powerbomb. Dick this punch. match. Dick this knee. match rules. <laughs> B oh, oh, double knee drop misses. This could be it. Oh. Ooh. Total elimination. <laughs> so what the oh, fuck's going on? to the face. Ooh, frog, frog splash sketch. on the Gene Simmons. Gene Simmons gets up. And a DDT. Oh, DDT. Gene Simmons the oh, man in the match. <laughs> oh. <laughs> tagging ball sack. Kiss tagging in ball standing. Oh, tornado kick. 
Dragon's Blue. Oh, it was in the back. Oh, v, v, how do you, yeah. how are you feeling about this match? There's so much going on. There's action everywhere. I don't even know where to start. Oh, just gets me fired up, brother. Oh, a sledgehammer in the ring. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> oh no, oh. torture rack. It's obviously not the legal man. Total elimination. Oh, total elimination. Total annihilation. <laughs> Ooh, Yoshihashi. Oh, and that's and kiss wins. That was fucking great. If we ever have a six man title or a trio's title, I would love to see this ran back. V, how do you feel about that? Fuck this. Fuck this? What the fuck? Fuck kiss. <laughs> True. What the fuck? <clears throat> Kiss is better than you. At least Kiss wrestles for QQD Pro. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Yeah. V, why don't you get in there? Yeah, I'd love to. Give yeah, well, fucking, fucking 4x4 is about to do an open challenge. Why don't you get in there? You know, maybe I will. Fine, fucking do it. Alright, all right, I'm taking my headset off. I'm fucking getting in there. My headset ruffling off. No, because you know the alphabet. Shut up. Here comes four by four. I know what a big boy. And here comes V. Daniel, the teenager from Mars. No, he did not focus on the chest at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just like V having a big chest. All right, V. Yeah. Ooh, back body waiting. drop. No, uh, that's what I'm, I'm doing commentary. I'm not talking to V. I'm hoping oh. V gets his ass kicked here. Oh, and a big clubbing blow. <laughs> Most clubbing blows. Obviously, V skips leg day. <laughs> but it's not skip chest day. No. Oh, Ooh, oh monkey, monkey flip, flip to, to the, the outside. outside. Oh my god. There's <laughs> 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 no DQs. Oh. No, there's DQs. Oh, it's a full five just trying to kill V. Well, yeah, obviously oh. in QQD Pro rules, you get a a four, oh, yeah. uh, five count to use weapons. You have five seconds oh, to use oh. all the weapons you want. What about oh. busted open though? Oh, yeah. Oh, headbutt. Ooh. Oh, spinning headbutt. Oh, pick up King Joe's. B, wait, I'm going to speed advantage. Big power drop of no, can you believe that? Oh, it's stream pause. Did no bed? Oh, no. Fine. <gasps> wait! Oh, wait, V1! What? V1! What the fuck? Oh, that was the fuck? Did you guys fucking see that? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck, V? Fuck! You know what? I shouldn't have doubted you. You guys fucking see that? Yeah, you know what? Congratulations. Fucking V wins matches. Now, Rez. Yeah. Caleb handed me a note to read before this match starts. Yeah. And it's stating that, uh... It, oh, okay. It's the bracket for next week's world title tournament on Dark. <laughs> yeah. We got... The first round matches of Spider Nate Webb versus E.T. King Kong versus Spawn. Giovanni Vinci versus the Jugulator. <laughs> and whoever wins this match versus RSP. So, a lot of like. 
I don't know, Caleb fucking booking a lot of nobodies from the independents for this tournament. I guess it is dark. <laughs> Title changes don't usually don't happen on time. <laughs> Okay, but of course now, Rez, it is time for a world title match. Is it The Undertaker? V, how you feeling? You look a little bit dizzy after that spinning headbutt. I need a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh! I'm sorry. All right. Well, as V composes himself, we got the man of the basement, Antonio Anoki. Clapping in honor of Caleb. <laughs> and here comes the Undertaker, who is, of course, putting his hair and his bike on the line. Now, Rez, would you rather lose your motorcycle or would you rather lose your fucking uh, hair? Thank you, Rez. <laughs> Antonio Inoki. I'm working over on the taker. All right, guys, what do you think of my match? <laughs> <laughs> I think I think it did pretty good. Four by four seemed to fuck you up with those uh, forearms, but you made quick work of him. Four by four is no joke. Four by four got distracted by trying to murder V with a barbed wire bat. <laughs> that is true. I don't know what he was thinking about with that. It's a bug. Well, congratulations on winning your matches. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Antonio Inoki. <laughs> you know, I want to point out something, V. You're a oh, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Also. I'd like to point out something. What? You're a bitch. You know, I want to point out, I've wrestled a few matches here in QQD's Pro, and I've never been pinned. I've lost all of my matches, but I've never been <laughs> pinned or submitted. I've never been pinned or submitted in QQD's Pro either, so what's yeah, the well, point? fucking... 4x4 four four didn't know to expect you. He was expecting a big challenge, and some fucking twink shows up. <laughs> well, if he was expecting a big challenge, he should have been waiting for a small challenge. <laughs> Well, I mean, like, obviously, 4x4 four four just was just not prepared for someone like V. Daniel. Probably expecting someone like fucking, I don't know, PCO to show up, or Nino Hamburgerza, or, <laughs> you know, probably expecting fucking Garnet. <laughs> Not a, a commentator, but a big choke slam from Undertaker. One, two... Ooh. That could have been it. That wasn't as close as 2.9, but that did happen for a second. I almost thought that in his own basement, Antonio Inoki would fall for the whole heavyweight championship. Yeah, that's, that would have been fucked up. But imagine, imagine winning a bike in your basement. Well, no, no. Undertaker will use this bike. That doesn't mean Inoki's going to have it. Well, he put his bike on the line, which means, yeah. like, wouldn't that mean so that... So when Undertaker cuts his hair, Inoki's gonna keep it? Yeah. I mean, other way around? Wait, no, I got it right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's what happens in Lucha Libre. Well, this isn't Lucha Libre. This is QQ to Pro. Yeah. But I like Lucha Libre, so that's how we're doing it. Oh, one... oh my god, that would've been a great finish. Oh, Antonio Inoki getting his ass kicked in his first world title defense. You have to award Kunye, man. What do you expect? That is true. And Antonio Inoki did have a very competitive match with Crack last week. A surprisingly competitive match. It was good, yeah. <laughs> In Crack's only good match ever. 
a whole big scoop from the under undertaker brought his fucking AK. maybe undertaker just needed the motivation of putting his bike on the line maybe oh, choke and slam. a choke slam one two oh i thought that was it i hope inoki wins so that way we won't have to sit through undertaker for this butch again because <laughs> who would want to book that <laughs> I mean, to be fair. No. No, I'm just saying, to be fair, we do know that the next world title match is against RSP in the first round of that tournament. Oh, the most... Belts on the line? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a world title tournament. Oh, Tombstone. We here at QQD's Pro love doing tournament for our titles. <laughs> They're fun. Oh, big choke slam. Take a tie with bitch. And to you also do gotta think, Rez. There is a possibility by the end of tomorrow's show. <laughs> the jugulator can be a world champion. <laughs> huh? What? I'm sorry, I was I was thinking of something. I was, I was saying at the, at the end of tomorrow's show, there is a chance that the jugulator could walk out as world champion. Oh, that choke slam! True. Two, three! Oh my Undertaker no picking up the win <laughs> over Antonio and new? new. And new! Gets to keep his hair, his bike, and wins the title. Well, I used. <laughs> the one time fucking Justin isn't here. <laughs> Justin's never here, to be fair. That is true. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> one second. I just need to, uh, set there. there we go. Need to do something outside of the show. And, uh, thank you all for showing up to tonight's show. And, uh, Inoki lost the title in his own basement. Fucking, oh, a lot of shit's happening. But don't forget to stay tuned for Dark.